After the last storm put down three feet or better of new snow, we were finally able to get out and travel around a little bit today. <laughs> okay, so we're at uh, just under 10,000 feet north facing uh, along the central portion of the Manti skyline. We're looking at our snowpack here. Um, basically everything from here to the surface has fallen since Thanksgiving. Uh, anywhere from 32 to 40 inches of snow overall um, snow depth here. We did find a little bit of faceted snow right down near the ground, some small grain faceted snow, and just thought we'd see if it's going to be uh, any, any uh, potential for, um, for that to uh, be active. So we'll just do a quick um, extended column test and see if it will propagate. So pretty non-reactive there. It's not a real loose grain, but it definitely was, was noticeable uh, with this peep hole test. And, and obviously when we dug down, finding a little bit of that sugary fine grain faceted snow there. With gorgeous weather and perfect snow conditions, we ended up playing more than working today, but we were able to gather quite a bit of information while we moved around out there. Okay, so we're at uh, 9,400 feet now. Uh, in elevation and looking at the overall snowpack and things are much different down here we don't have that little layer of faceted snow this is about a perfect snowpack right here with low density snow slowly getting more dense as you uh, get deeper into the snowpack and no junk down in the uh, down in the basement there so this is this is a really nice setup and this is what we like to see we found the snowpack to be stable today. We found no recent avalanches, nor did we hear about any. We did not experience any cracking or collapsing within the snowpack. We did take note of the small amount of faceted snow on the very highest north aspects, but it didn't seem reactive. We'll see if this holds true for other portions of the skyline as we travel around through the end of the week. Stay tuned for more avalanche information as the week progresses.